How's it going guys? We are back in another video here and this video is going to be on the most underrated X factors ones that I believe could really really pop off and are already pretty good. Uh, so you know kind of ones that like I guess I'm getting team of the season cards potentially and just a lot of upgrades in general. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel here. And also, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to my second channel. That link's in the description, as always. Uh, I'm going to post a variety of different content there as well. Uh, but here we go, guys. Uh, let's hop into it right now. So I'm super excited to get into this. And uh, there's some that are really, really underrated, in my opinion, all right? So uh, starting off with the first one that I actually just bought myself, all right? And this one's going to be Mika Zabinijad, all right? So why do I feel like Zabinijad is going to be a really, really good one, okay? So... Looking at Zabinijad right now, okay, so he's a 6'2", 208-pound center, right-handed shot, right? You could play him on the wing as well, but here we go. W why do we find him interesting, all right? So let's go to his max here right now, which is 89 overall, which is pretty low. Pretty low for Mika Zabinijad, considering how good he's actually been this year. He's just under a point per game, one point under a point per game. Uh, I believe Zabinijad is definitely, uh, you know, not really that high when it comes to how good he's been playing this year. Yes, he starts at a low overall because his base card is not that high. I believe his base card is like maybe 83 or something like that. Yeah, so that's why his 84 happens there. But why do I like Zabinijad so much, all right? So Zabinijad's played well in game always. I mean, that's, that's not like a secret. Zabinijad's been a known good player in NHL games due to his size. Uh, so he's he got synergies of Protector, Booming Shot, Bombarded, Applesauce, Light the Lamp, Thief, Heart and Soul, Gladiator, Magician, and Well-Rounded. And then he just got a new uh, Synergy uh, lock unlocked, and it's going to be Workhorse, right? So, realistically, yes, it's great for his Excel and his Endurance, but you got to think that he's going to get, at some point, another Synergy. It's going to be Fly the Zone or Distributor, uh, or even Buzzing at least, right? So then, let's just say this, guys. So his next... Like, not his next upgrade, but his 91 overall upgrade. He'll be up to 92 speed. And let's just say he has five of his owner distributor. He'll have 94 speed. 6-2 forward right there. I think Zabinijad could be really, really cracked. I really, really do believe that. Um, I think he's already not that bad to use. Shots, 89, 90, 90, 90. Uh, and even, again, that's without factoring in any synergies, right, that are active. Face-offs are definitely not where you want him to be. He's got Snipe, Tape of Tape, and Magnetic. Uh, Magnetic is actually a pretty good one. Magnetic is definitely not bad. Uh, but, yeah, I think Zabinijad's an underrated one because I feel like he hasn't really gotten many big upgrades this year. I could see him getting maybe a Master Set item. I could see him potentially just getting a big event card upgrade because, I mean, he's having a, a good season. Like, there's no reason why he doesn't deserve an upgrade Zabinijad, right? And if you're comparing it to, like, other cards, you know, other MSPs and other X-Factors, I mean, you know, he's really kind of falling behind other ones. And I believe they will start giving him some upgrades. So that's what I think about Zabinijad. Definitely don't don't uh, forget about him. He is, I bought him for 18K just now. All right, so uh, next one I want to talk about is going to be Jacob Slavin. He's really an underrated one because he's 91 overall, right? Slavin's one of the best defensive defensemen in the whole NHL. He's 6'3", 207. He's got Bombarded, Applesauce, Light the Lamp, Protector, Booming Shot. Uh, he's also got Magician, Thief, Heart and Soul, Well-Rounded, Gladiator, and he's got Fly the Zone, Wingman, Buzzing, Spark, and Workhorse. Okay, so let's just obviously put Fly the Zone. You know, that, that's the one you kind of want to focus on. He's got 90 speed with Fly the Zone, right? And his next upgrade will be a speed upgrade as well, so he'll have 91 speed, all right? So you might be wondering, oh, that's not that fast, Henrik, for someone that's 6'3". Well, no, but for someone that is 6'3", that's unbelievable. He's got Send It, Stick Him Up, Bouncer, and Shut Down Gold Ability, okay? So Shut Down alone is unbelievable. Even Bouncer is not bad, though. You can activate for four points. Two just tremendous defensive abilities. Uh, I really enjoyed this card a lot. I think it's underrated. Very underrated. I would use him, honestly. I, I think he's a very good card, 100%. Uh, and, and he'll be getting upgrades. I mean, I... He's a Hurricane. The Hurricanes are a great team. They'll be in the postseason. Slavin will be getting upgrades throughout the year. It's just how it is. They're a good team. He'll get. He'll do good things. It's just how it is. So I like Slavin, someone that you definitely should consider. A left-handed shot. I like him a lot. He's fantastic. Look at the defensive stats already. 95, 95. Uh, I mean, come on. Very, very good, all right? Uh, let's move on to the next card now. And his next card is going to be Seth Jones. Another one where, you know, he's really just not gotten a lot of upgrades this year. And I know the Hawks have been really bad. Jones hasn't been amazing, right? But he will get upgrades, right? Like, regardless, EA will give upgrades to cards. They don't want cards to be useless, right? So Seth Jones is 6'4", 213. So he's got great size for a D-man. 
He's got Heart and Soul, Gladiator, Well-Rounded, Thief, and Magician. And he's got Protector, Booming Shot, Bombarded, Applesauce, and Light the Lamp as his synergies. He's already got pretty decent skating, 88 across the board except for his speed, which is 89. Another one with him as well, uh, his next upgrade will be another synergy slot. So that could be a speed one, which would be even better. Uh, so we got a speed synergy, let's just say he got Fly the Zone for argument's sake. He'll be up to 91 speed, right? For a 6-4 or a D-man, that's very good speed, for sure. That's, I mean, that's almost similar to Burns. Burns is 6-5, I believe. But, I mean, it, it's very close. 82, 89, 83, and 89. He's got Shutdown as a silver ability, which, again, Shutdown's amazing. Quick Pick as a zone ability, also good. Uh, I believe that Jones, he will get another upgrade. Like, a pretty big upgrade. So, uh, I feel like jump on the boat while you can. Like, I don't think he's going for probably that much Jones. I doubt it. Because people just feel like he's probably not going to really be worth it. Yeah, 20k right now. I think that's worth it. I don't really see, like, the reason to not buy that for 20k. You're not investing 500k in a card. Uh, I think it's simply good. I really do. I think Jones is a very good option. So definitely would consider him, guys. All right. So let's move on to the next card that I want to talk about now. And this next card that I want to talk about is uh, one that, you know, I feel like just, again, definitely falls under the radar. Uh, it's going to be Anze Kobitar, right? So Kobitar is at eight, uh, sorry, 90 overall right now. Uh, he's 6'3", 225 centerman. He's got Distributor, Heart and Soul. Uh, he also has Light the Lamp as another synergy. So uh, right now you can see he has 87 Excel, 88 Agility, 97 Balance, 94 Endurance, and 89 Speed, right? Uh, his next upgrade will be a Speed upgrade as well. So he'll get up to 90 Speed. Uh, the Kings are a pretty good team this year. They could make the postseason. So that's why he could be another one that really gets a lot of upgrades. Uh, I really enjoy this card, this card a lot. Uh, I, I do believe that Kopitar is underrated. 90 face-offs, Unsolvable Force, Tape of Tape, Yoink, and Quick Pick are the abilities on Kopitar. Uh, I really think Kopitar always kind of falls under the radar, but uh, he's a very, like, just standard, just solid centerman. So uh, I think Kopitar is uh, very, very good. And I know a lot of, you know, pro players use him as well, like, such as Josh Fearless as well. So definitely we'll keep an eye out for Kopitar. I think he could be... Uh, a really, really, really good buy. I mean, I don't think he goes for that much either. I don't think many X-Factor cards go for that much anymore. He has 16K, and and uh, he'd be at least a fourth-line guy for you. So, I mean, I go Patar a lot. I really do, all right? So, let's move on to the last few now. And uh, the ones I want to talk about are going to be Kyle Connor. all right? So, Connor right now, his max overall is 90 overall, right? And he's got 90 speed. Uh, he's got fly the zone as well. So, he's up at 92 speed, right? So, he's a 6'1", 182. He's not small. People might think Connor's a small player. He's not. 90 Excel, 94 Agility, 89 Balance, 89 Endurance. Shot's gross, 93, 90, 93, and 90. Uh, could even get that shot to be a little bit better if you put the, ro the proper synergies on, of course. Uh, he's got Make It Snappy, Snipe, Magnetic, and Zone Ability of Wheels, which, again, Wheels is so good. So uh, that's really good to see on this card. I actually use Connor for quite a bit. I mean, I have him, right? I have him at 85, so you guys can clearly tell that I did use him. Uh, but, yeah, he's, uh, he's good. I mean, I like his card a lot. And again, Connor, Connor's a great player. Like, he'll get upgrades. And uh, even so right now, I think that is just general car. And I think he's very good. I mean, he's got 92 speed. I mean, not, not on the market currently right now on Xbox Series X at least. But uh, I, I like Connor a lot. I mean, I really do. I think Connor is always an underrated one. Uh, and definitely one that I would look after, right? And then last but not least, going to be a Sebastian Ajo. Going back to kind of the Slavin meta. Uh, he's on a great team, right? And he'll get a lot of upgrades. His next upgrade is a speed upgrade as well. And he already has a distributor as a synergy, right? So uh, I believe that he can be, become really cracked. He'll have 92 speed already. Next upgrade, he'll, he'll go up all the way up to 93 speed. Uh, he's got tape of tape, magnetic, quick pick, and third eye as his abilities. Pretty good shot as well already. I mean, not too bad. 96, 92, 94, 91 with those synergies active. Uh, decent face-offs, 87 face-offs. Uh, there's really not much about this card that I don't like about it. I mean, I, I think it's a very underrated card and uh, one that you don't see many people using. So, uh, yeah, I, I think Ajo's super good and uh, I would definitely consider him. Uh, one quick honorable mention, though, before I get out of the video here. Uh, the last honorable mention that I want to talk about, uh, it's going to be Roman Yossi. I think Yossi's always a solid D-man. 6'1", 201. Uh, he's got... Some really good synergies. Got Fly the Zone, 91 speed on him. His next upgrade would be a speed synergy as well. So he'd be up to 92 speed. After his next upgrade. So I don't know. I like Yossi a lot. Puck and a string, wheels, thunderclap, and send it. Not the best abilities, but I like Yossi in this game. I think he plays well. He always does. 6 1 2 1. Pretty good build for a D man. So. Uh, yeah, I would consider that for sure, guys. But let me know what you think of this video. Let me know who you think is underrated or if these are good choices or not. 
And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's. And join Discord to talk to me, a follower, subscribers of the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.